The Bronx Academy of Promise Charter School had an unusual event at their campus today as both staff and students formally gathered to listen to the announcement of the findings of a research on mobile devices' impacts on classrooms. Schools across the state and the country can join the Bronx Academy of Promise in the Verizon Innovative App Challenge. Registration is already open. In fact, we have almost 500 teams already registered across the United States. We represent the global technologies, all technologies. Everything in this room today is here today because of technology. The study was commissioned by the Verizon Foundation, an organization whose primary mission is to bring technology into education. The foundation partnered with the National Education Program, the Technology Student Association, to bring the data to local communities like the Bronx. Tammy Trudell, a fifth grade teacher at the academy, was responsible for pushing for the use of mobile devices and found support through the Verizon Foundation and TSA. The teachers in general at this school feel that technology is, technology is a really important piece and what they're doing is sharing their own technology. So for instance, some of the tools you'll actually see today are um, privately owned by the teachers, the assistants. We at times even ask our um, maintenance individuals to, to donate their phones so that we can add another group. Students have been happy to use these mobile applications. One group in the class focused their work on an iPad. Brianna Cortejo's favorite app was Brain Pop, a game with videos and quizzes to keep students engaged with their work. Well, you do understand, but you just want to learn more. Yeah. You can also go on Brain Pop and it tells you like more. So, well, there are, there are lessons and videos. Oh, a civilization is an advanced society with complex social, cultural, and political systems. The foundation and the TSA conducted over a thousand interviews across the tri-state area. The findings show that one in three middle school students use mobile technology to complete their schoolwork. On top of that, the findings show that there has been a consistent trend for Hispanic and African American students to use mobile technology for studying purposes, and one in four use smartphones alone to do homework. Well, we wanted to meet the teachers. We wanted to meet the students. Um, they're registered for this um, program. We wanted to see if there was, um, you know, find out what they like about it, what they're learning. With so much enthusiasm amongst the students and faculty members here at the Bronx Academy of Promise, this initiative has provided the school with an opportunity to provide its children with better means of education. Reporting for Columbia Television News, this is Mohamed Shaban.